Well, Niall Standage, White House columnist for The Hill, he's joining me right now. And it's good to have you back, Niall. Thank you, Adrian. Good to see you again. Thank you. Uh, President Biden doubling down on talking about the economy as he heads to Philadelphia today. So is he taking a page out of the Republicans' playbook days ahead of the midterms? Well, I think there is a recognition that the economy is topic A in this, this midterm election, maybe topic B and C as well. Democrats had hoped um, earlier in the summer that perhaps there would be a political benefit to the Supreme Court placing abortion rights front and center. There may still be some benefit to Democrats from that in terms of driving turnout and so forth. But this election is pretty clearly about the economy. The abortion issue may have faded slightly. And the economy is an uphill climb for Democrats. Most polls show Republicans with the advantage. The president can uh, boast about certain elements of his record, particularly job creation. But at the end of the day, you have inflation close to a 40-year high, mortgage rates at a 20-year high, President Biden's approval ratings in the low 40s. That's a very difficult uh, stew to, to get out of if you're a Democratic candidate. Yeah, not the kind of stew we want to have this time of the uh, colder months of the year. Um, a recent poll finds yes. uh, that when it comes to the most important issues to voters, 56% 56, uh, 56 believe inflation is a larger issue to tackle. 40% uh, actually say abortion is more important. So are Democrats now second guessing their midterm strategy? You know, I think that they are maybe second guessing the idea that the abortion issue could be a panacea or could help them overcome the other headwinds that they face. That does look less likely now. I, I do think, to be fair, I mean, Democrats always realized that the economy was going to be central. But it is seeming that the focus in that is becoming increasingly intense to the, if not exclusion, maybe the marginalization of other topics. I think that's what you're seeing with the president making the kind of remarks he has been re making recently about his economic plans, trying to draw attention to what he has done on the economic front. President Biden saying uh, Republicans would make inflation worse, but just over a week ago he said that the economy is, quote, strong as hell. Uh, is there a struggle to find the right tone on this? Absolutely, and it's a great question because it is really difficult to find the right tone. Any president wants to, at one level, provide reassurance, provide optimism to the American people. But you can't do that in a way that appears disconnected from people's day-to-day -day struggles. So, for example, just yesterday, President Biden came over to reporters to say that things were looking good economically on the back of new GDP numbers. Well, you know, for millions of Americans not feeling very good as they look at mortgage rates, as they look at their grocery bills going up, as they generally feel uh, under pressure, particularly from inflation. And I think that points to just how difficult a needle this is to thread for the White House and for Democrats more generally. We have one more time, we have time for one more question really, really quickly. How much should we read into that hot mic moment uh, that we heard um, from, uh, let me see, it was uh, Chuck Schumer, I believe. Yes, talking about the Georgia Senate race going downhill for Democrats, this race involving Herschel Walker. Sure. I mean, very quickly, I think that does speak to Democratic concerns. And I think the concern there is that her, whatever Herschel Walker's vulnerabilities as a candidate, he may still be able to take advantage of the fact that Georgia still does trend pretty Republican. Yes, President Biden carried it in 2020. He was the first Democrat to do so since 1992. So that is a pretty Republican-leaning state. And I think we may be seeing a reversion toward that mean. All right, Niall Stanage, always good to see you. Great to see you before the week was out. I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.